Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this little sample that I've done. I want to show you how to do this pretty little pattern. Now you're going to be working in chain spaces. Instead of the top of your stitches you're going to be in between the stitches in the chain spaces and you're going to be working in between the V stitches of this little pattern. It is a four row repeat but it's really simple. You do three rows of the mesh, it's really quick to do that. It's just one stitch, a chain, one stitch, a chain. Your second row is your V stitches and you're going to be working into the chain spaces of your mesh for this. It's really easy, it's a really pretty stitch. Look at that, it's so pretty for blankets and it's quick. It's quick and that's what everyone wants, a really quick blanket. Firstly, I want to say thank you to everyone who's been going onto my coffee page. I'll put a link underneath the video and helping out the channel by donating the price of a cup of coffee. It's just like if you meet me in the street and you say, would you like a cup of coffee? Well, you can do that on that coffee page and just click on the link underneath the video. So I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful stitch. So the stitch count for this pattern is two and then you'll add one extra stitch at the end. So I'm going to do a chain, one, two, one, two, one, two. So you'll do your chain as long as you want it to be. I'm doing this little sample. I'm going to chain an extra three stitches. One, two, three. Now that's going to count as my first UK treble crochet. So into the fourth stitch, count one, two, three, and into the fourth stitch, you're going to do a treble crochet. So yarn over and into that fourth stitch in the chain. One treble crochet and we're going to do another one into that same stitch. So that's you done your first V stitch. You're going to skip a stitch and then put two treble crochets into the next stitch. And if you're in the USA that's two double crochets for you. So skip one and make a V stitch. That's two into the same stitch. You're going to skip a stitch and then do a V stitch. You're going to do that all the way along. So when you've done your last V stitch, you should have one stitch left. If you've got two stitches left, then just pick one out. But you should just have one left and you're going to do a treble crochet into that last stitch. So yarn over and into that last stitch. And you've got your row of V stitches. So you're going to chain one and turn your work. Right into that very first stitch, right where you've done that chain one, this very first stitch, you're going to do a double crochet. Right into there and pull through your two loops. You're going to chain one. You're going to skip two stitches and in between the V stitches, you end up in between the V. So we're going to work in between the V stitch in the space. You're going to put a double crochet. So just straight in and pull through your two loops. Chain one and move to the next space. So you'll be skipping two stitches. We're going to be working into the spaces in between the V's and here. Double crochet. Chain one, skip two, and then double crochet into the space. Chain one, skip two stitches, 
and into the space all the way along chain one and you're working in the spaces so when you're at the end you're going to double crochet into the top of that chain there you've got one two and a third stitch there so you're skipping these two and it should be the top of that chain you're going to do a double crochet so count one two and three stitches so do your chain one and then into the top of that chain go to chain one turn your work and you're going to go right into that very first stitch so for this row you're going to go into that very first stitch and do your double crochet pull through yarn over through two loops now you're going to do a double crochet in to the chain one space so in there now chain one and you're going to work one double crochet into each of the chain spaces so you'll chain one and do one double crochet into the chain space chain one and do one double crochet into the chain space all the way along so I've done my chain one and I'm going in to the chain space chain one skip that stitch and go into the next chain space chain one skip the stitch and into the chain space all the way along and this is how you work the mesh that's in between your V stitches chain one skip the stitch and work into the chain space so at the end you're going to chain one you're going to work into the chain space and you're going to work in to the top of that little chain that's there so I've done my chain one work into that chain space and then in to that little double crochet there chain one turn your work you're going to go straight in to that first one that first stitch there you're going to chain one skip that little stitch there and go into that chain space so you're going into the chain spaces again so into the chain space chain one skip the stitch and go into the chain space chain one skip the stitch and go into the chain space chain one skip the stitch all the way along so at the end you're going into the chain space chain one and you're going in to the end of that double crochet now the three oops now the three rows that we do in between the v-stitch so it staggers like a mesh you can do as many of these rows as you want but your first one is a double crochet the first one is you're going to double crochet into there chain one and go in between the v-stitches the second row is you'll double crochet into the top of that one double crochet into the chain space and then start your chain one and then go into the chain space chain one skip the stitch and go into the chain space and then your next row you're doing one double one double crochet chain one and then go into the chain space so when you're doing your three rows you're staggering them above each other 
and it staggers it and it makes that little mesh pattern. Just rewind the video and you'll get the hang of this. It's really easy. It's quite a stretchy stitch as well. So I've done my three rows of the double crochet. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. That makes my first treble crochet. I'm going to turn my work and then in to the chain spaces I'm going to put a V stitch. So yarn over and I'm going to do that V stitch again. So that's one. So we're doing treble crochets two into the same stitch. So that's one. And that's two. So we're going to move over to the next chain space. And do a V stitch. That's one and two into the same space. And you're going to do that all the way along. So into the chain space. We're using the chain spaces in this pattern all the time. And you'll put a V stitch into every chain space that's in between the stitches. So I'm on my last chain space and I'll put my V stitch in there. So one. and two and you're going to treble crochet into the top of this double crochet chain one and we're going to do the three rows of mesh again so chain one and turn you're going to put a double crochet into this very first stitch then you'll chain one and go over into the spaces in between the V stitches. So into that stitch, that very, very first stitch. Chain one. Skip your two stitches and go in between. You're going in between the V in here. Chain one. And move to the next one all the way along. It's really quick, really simple. Make sure you do your chain one. Chain one. Chain one. So I'm going into the last space my V is, chain one and I'm going into the top of that chain of three. Chain one and turn. So you're going to double crochet into that stitch there, that very first stitch and then you'll double crochet into the first chain. Then you'll chain one and go into the next chain space so that we stagger these chains. If you don't, you'll have a chain above a chain and it'll look like a ladder. So double crochet into the first stitch and then you're going to double crochet into the next chain, this chain space. You'll chain one, double crochet into the chain space chain one and double crochet into the chain space all the way along and at the end you'll have two double crochets you'll double crochet into the chain space and then double crochet into the top of that last double crochet that's the middle stitch of these three rows of your double crochets if you keep rewinding the video, you'll soon get the hang of this. It is quite easy. 
So I've done my chain one and I'm going into this very first stitch here. I'm going to do a double crochet into the chain space. Then I'm going to start my chain one and work into the chain spaces. So chain one, skip that stitch and work into the chain space. Chain one, skip the stitch and work into the chain space. And that's going to make your mesh. Chain one, I've done that, skip that stitch and go in to the chain space all the way along so I've done my chain one and I'm at my last chain space I'm going to double crochet into the chain space and double crochet into the last stitch so go in to the chain space and then do another one into that last stitch so when you do your three rows of the mesh You'll start with one double crochet, your next row will have two double crochets together and your last row will have one double crochet and then you'll do your V-stitch again. So just rewind the video if you get stuck doing that mesh, staggering that mesh and this is what it looks like when it's nice and stretchy, it's great for little bags and things, for beach bags. And it makes a really pretty, look at that, makes a really pretty blanket. So that's my second row of the mesh. So we're going to chain one and turn. This is the third row. And then we'll go back to that V stitch. Right into the very first stitch, you're going to do a double crochet. Now you're going to chain one and you're going to skip that stitch and go into the chain space. So skip the stitch and into the chain space. Chain one, skip the stitch and work into the chain space. Chain one, skip the stitch and go into the chain space all the way along. So we're at the end and I'm going to work into that last chain space. Chain one, skip that stitch and do a double crochet into that last stitch. And that will keep your pattern and stagger your mesh rows. Now we're going to do the V stitch row again. So chain three, one, two, three turn your work so in to that chain space you're going to put your v-stitch you're going to put a v-stitch into each chain space so skip the stitch there and into there into this the chain space you're going to build your v-stitch we're going to do that all the way along two stitches into the one space skip the stitch and you're at the chain space put your v-stitch in skip the stitch and into the chain space all the way along So at the end, I've got one chain space left. Put my V-stitch in. So most of this pattern you're going, other than the very last stitches, you'll be working in chain spaces and the spaces between your V-stitches. So in to this very last double crochet, we're going to put a treble crochet. You chain one and turn and then you'll repeat the three mesh rows again. Just rewind the video 
and repeat the three mesh rows and your v-stitch row your three mesh rows and your v-stitch row you can use any yarn for it use the hook size it tells you on your yarn label give it a try and don't give up with it because it is quite simple once you've got used to it and it's so pretty so give this stitch a try it's a really pretty stitch so thank you to everyone who's been going onto my coffee page and helping the channel out by buying me a cup of coffee and you can subscribe to the channel for free it's completely free to subscribe to any YouTube channel. If you click on the subscribe button and just follow the simple steps and then if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.